Hey, what's up? This is Alchemist.Camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, we've got a QA. and a It's actually a question about plugins for VS Code. And I'm going to talk a bit about Elixir format and how I set that up. Uh, this is not completely VS Code dependent, but if you do use VS Code, it'll be even better for you. And at the end, I've got a sneak peek of the redesign of the Alchemist.Camp website to show you. So first was the question. I gotta say, this questioner was amazing. They went to the survey that I put up asking people what kinds of topics they want covered for this, this channel and what changes, and what improvements they'd like to see on the site. And uh, whoever they are, this, this user from the Ukraine went through my survey and said, please record more videos. Awesome, that's actually something a lot of people have asked for. And then any other requests or comments, I installed VS Code and VS Code Elixir plugin on my Windows 10, but I can't get the function definition, or I can't get to the function definition by clicking F12, and it's a critical feature for me. How do you deal with it? Before I answer this, I want to say the most amazing thing about this question is I don't have their email address, and I don't have their Twitter or anything else, so I have no way of answering except by recording this video. Um, I'm not quite as used to clicking through definitions. I mean, I, I have used it before, and especially in other languages, but for me, it's not a really critical feature. So setting that aside, I will show what I've got set up and how it works. I can click through a lot of them, but it, it depends on the, the context. All right. Uh, first, here's my, my Visual Studio code. And let's look at the plugins that I've installed. Uh, you can see there are a lot. Let's filter that down to Elixir. So I use VS Code for Elixir, which is pretty much the main one. Let's pull this out a bit. I use the VS Code Elixir formatter, which we're going to need in a moment for the formatting stuff I'm going to show you. Notably, I do not use Elixir snippets because I make my own snippets, uh, which you can do by going to uh, whatever this input is called. You hit Control Shift P, and then I say User Snippets, and you configure them. You choose a language, and in there I've got all the rules for how I want things to work. So if I start typing Dfun and hit Tab, then I can expand it into this def, name, parentheses, do, and then a body. And as I hit tab repeatedly, it will highlight the name, then it will go inside the parentheses, it'll go right after the parentheses, so I could type when or some, some other sort of guard, and hit tab again, and it highlights the body. And I've made others for one-liner functions and for a variety of things. So uh, it's, it's a bit more work to set it up, but this way I get exactly what I want instead of what's in the, the snippets. And I don't use Elixir LS, and that's because it was a pretty bad experience, to be honest. I installed it, I set it up, and then, because of the very common problems compiling certain NIFs, especially come on in, decrypt, argon2, all those things, every single line of my mix file got red squigglies underneath it, and it became a pain to work with one of the files I need to access pretty much all the time. So I just turned that off. But with what we have here, the VS Code Elixir plugin, that's actually enough to get a lot of control spacing to work. So let me close the sidebar, get us some more space. So here's a Phoenix project. Um, this is one of the contacts, and there's no F12 click. But if I hold control and then say I, I click on um, any of these things, like, well, these are the definitions. So let me find something that's using something to find elsewhere. Say here, like cred.password hash. If I hover it, it just says the contacts. But if I hold down control and hover, now I see a definition. And I can actually click that definition and go to it inside the campsite accounts. And this works, in my experience, this works really well in controllers. 
it doesn't get you into library code if it's uh, I guess actually maybe it does get you into library code. Okay, so I can't I can't go to like keyword put, although I, I can get a lot of information on hover. So it works for a lot of stuff. It does not work so well if you go to a template. Like here I've got static path, which is available because of a macro. Uh, I didn't type like uh, router dot helpers or whatever it is. So I, I actually can't do anything with this on hover. And that's the case with a lot of stuff that you do in templates. So I don't know if this is quite what you're looking for, but you can, uh, you can control click and go to definition on a lot of things. What I prefer to do instead of, um, instead of this is I, I prefer to do control shift F and then do a global search, especially if it's something I wrote, like if it's preload, that's going to be a disaster because it's going to be all over the place. But if it's something that uh, you've made in your own application, you can, you can find definitions pretty quickly that way, and you don't have to pick up the mouse, which I'm not a huge fan of. All right, next step, let's talk about formatting. So as you may or may not know, there is a built-in formatter in the Elixir language now. And to make sure that you've got access to it, first check your version of Elixir. So do that, Elixir dash dash version. And you can see I have version 1.6.1. .1. And anything over 1.6 will have the formatter. Then after you've made sure you're at Elixir version 1.6 or higher, you can create a dot formatter dot exs file. And in that, you say what gets formatted. And mine is very simple. It's just inputs, mix exs, and then config lib test, wildcard to match everything that has an extension of ex or exs. And all of those will get formatted. Now, the way you test this is uh, mess up the formatting on something, and then you run that on that file. So um, in this case, what's, what's going on there? mix format lib campsite counts and accounts.ex oh we've got to save the file first so that something is wrong i run format and it jumps back into place get some more space here full screen this so you can see i've already defined an editor.format on save and i've commented it out that's so that you could see the last example I showed you. But if we uncomment this, then every time we save or paste text in in an Elixir program, it will do a format. And the reason I restricted it to Elixir was because, yes, thank you, tooltip. The reason I restricted this to Elixir was because I don't necessarily want to do this with every single language and I don't have formatters for every single language. So, um, that is my setup. We'll close this and go back. Now, if I mess up the formatting and save the file, it will automatically be fixed. And that way, if you have this running all the time, all your files will basically remain formatted as is the Elixir standard. And that's probably gonna have some effects on me because I often indent that one. All right, so, that's it for the teaching part of today, or the question and answer part. And now to show you the new version of alchemist.camp, which should be coming out really soon, but no promises. Um, I've still heavily emphasized purple, which I for some reason feel compelled to do with every single theme that I make, but it's a little different shade of a purple and uh, lots of green and pink in there too, just like these, these Elixir bottles. This version of the site is basically going to have user accounts people can register for, and no promises on how long it's going to take. But over time, I will gradually catch up in creating separate pages for each episode uh, that is on YouTube. And there'll be a little content that should improve the experience if you don't want to Know, check out all of a long episode, you might be able to pick out just the parts you want. Um, so there it is. And 
I look forward to seeing you on alchemist.camp. Until next time, code on.